This is the card we're going to be doing today. Isn't it beautiful? This is a sympathy card. It's a double Z. There's the Z here, and then there's the Z there. This is from the Meandering Meadows DSP that I absolutely love. I've shown it to you before. It's gorgeous. I've done quite a few cards with this set too. But isn't that unbelievable? So I, get this out of the way. I have used the Timeless Arrangement, all the dies. These two, this, the all like all these dies. Excuse me. I use this for where's my card? There it is. For here. And I use this for there. So I've shown you two ways of doing the back. Like you could just do, if you don't want to put a lot of work into it, you can just use the green leaves on here. This is granny apple, this is garden granny apple. So it's two of granny apple, one of garden. And it just pop, 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 easy. And you could do the same here. Uh, this is, um, I don't have one of these because I've used them all up. But I will, I cut off, now I cut off, cut it wrong, so you'll have to excuse the one I'm going to show you, but it's three quarters of an inch. This here is white, and I did three quarters of an inch strip by 11. I scored it at two and three quarters, five and a half, and then you have another five and a half here. So it's just scored twice. It's exactly like this. I scored it at two and three quarters, five and a half, and it folds this way. This one is the exact opposite. It's five and a half, and then this, turn it around, this is two and three quarters. So hopefully that explains it. And uh, then I use the garden meadow, the fence, this, and I cut five of them. I have one, two, three, four, and then the extra one is for here and for here. And then I use the quiet reflections. Um, God is our refuge and strength, Psalm 46, verse 1, praying for his comfort to soften the sadness and bring you peace and sorry for your loss. And then I used on the ocean for the birds. And that is it, I believe. So what I did is I took my cardstock I put it in my paper trimmer and I scored at two and three quarters and five and a half and then I burnished it and it looks like this. Easy. You've done it before. You've seen me do it before. It's very easy to do. Now what I have done is to uh, shorten the video because it's going to take me a while to put the fences and the flowers and the leaves on. I'm going to, I, I've already put these on. So we're just going to finish putting these on as we start this card. I figured you didn't need to really see me put the two together. It just speeds it up, speeds it up because it's going to be long enough as it is. There we go. 
Now, if you really wanted not to do something on the back of the card, you could take this one and just put the purple down, like the Highland Heather, and then put a white piece on top of it and put your, uh, do, put what I have on the back here inside but I just found that it wasn't it wasn't going to fit the I would have had to change it uh, the praying for comfort to soften the sadness and bring you peace was not going to fit in that area so I just made it look like a full total scene I had thought about that at first and then I thought no I like it that it's a scene and what am I going to do with this piece here <laughs> I uh, it would just be sitting around because it's such a small piece I wouldn't be able to use it now my grandkids could but I wouldn't be able to so now we have this and it goes like that and you can re-burnish this over here and then just there we go isn't that a pretty scene if you look at it like if you saw that in nature be gorgeous so now this is um, five and a quarter and there's a three quarter inch piece that I cut off there see exactly that so what I did is I took my piece for the back and this and I attached it so that it I wasn't uh, throwing this piece away either. I was making a use for it. There's, a, I have a few other pieces, like the sky that I cut off. Um, I'm going to just give that to my granddaughter and she can make something out of it. Because really and truly, it's a few inches. So there we go so what I did here when I cut this I cut three quarters of an inch off the bottom of both of this DSP like the DSPs here so I cut three quarters of an inch here and this one over here three quarters of an inch this is not the same paper there's only four sheets this is one uh, two sheets this is the other two so I've used it all up so I can't show you so I cut that off and that is what I am putting on here. This should have been the solid width of this. That's where I screwed up. I cut it at the wrong. So I'm going to fix it and we're going to work with it. And then what I did is I cut four, four inches, the three quarters of inches off and then four inches and then I had oh what did I have this left over kind of thing I'm giving it to my granddaughter to use but this I've already put this on so that it would save a bit of time and uh, what I did is I took my blend my misty moon night and I I went down the cre where it's creased because I cut this just a little bit before two and three quarters so that it wouldn't bunch up in the corner there and it would make it so that it would bend easier. So I put the blue in there and here so that when you saw it bent, you didn't see any missing. Can you see? You can't see white through there because it's only going to be bent like this. 
there's no way you can see white through there. So. There we go. So this is going to go on here. It's going to go right in the center, but you will put yours uh, from the edge to the edge. Because I miss cutting. Something was happening at the time I was cutting it and I got distracted and yeah. Okay, this is what I'm looking for. Thinking, what am I looking for? I have pre-cut five of these from Pecan Pie. And I am getting my... Put this back. Close this up for a few minutes. till I need it. And I am going to... Well, no, I don't need this here yet. So what? Yeah. Now I'm taking my... Yeah, I can't do two things and talk and squeeze it out at the same time. Uh, my sponge. And I'm going to... sponge on this. I could use my um, glue bottle that has the fine tip, but I thought this would go so much faster if I did it like this. And see, it pretty well covers up the white that I missed and then and I like the oh my goodness the posts that make it sturdy I like them to go from the the top to the center at the bottom Now, if I want, I can come along and fill this in. And no one will be the wiser except you, because you've seen me do it. <laughs> but people that are um, going to receive this card won't know. Oops. Or I could go, probably this would be the smartest, if I just fill this in ahead of time. So much easier if you cut it the proper width to begin with. Yeah, this works much better. There we go. There we go. Now I am going to do this one and get some more glue. Probably a 
little bit more. And remember to do the from the top to the bottom, from the from the bottom to the top. And another one, and just make sure you're getting it the right side up or the right side down and gluing the wrong side is more like it. Now you want to put the finished edge here, like the solid one, so that nobody can see that um, the, the edge. When you put this down, this comes and the part you're messing with is just in here, if that makes sense. So I'm going to glue this. Just like that. And then I'm going to Cut that and I'm going to oops I don't want that on there So I'm going to hold that there for a couple seconds till it is firmly on there. And then I'm going to cut it. And then I'm going to do I If I cut this off, I think it will be better. There we go. And then we'll just glue that and glue this to that. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of glue on here so it just has a better hold. Like that. Whoops, I was almost going to put it in the wrong spot. It wouldn't have fit there. And I will hold it for a minute and I'm going to bend that back so it doesn't attach just in case I've got some glue there. And attach that there. And see how it works. Okay, I've got to cut a little bit more off there just my glasses so I can actually see what I'm doing. There. Now, what I'm going to do is put this away and then I am going to take my embossing buddy. This will clean up. I. As soon as it dries, I will roll it and it will be all gone. Clean as a whistle or you can uh, wash it. I'm just going to do this. So if there's any spots that are 
gluey, gluey, it does not even word, oh my word, that have glue on them or are sticky. Much better <laughs> word, more appropriate for the sense. Oh my word, that's crazy. Actually, I think I'm going to do that to the back too. Just like that. Yeah, now it doesn't stick. That should be out of here so I have room to move and bring in another one. I have several of these. Because, yeah, I need them. So now I'm going to glue this down. <laughs> it's a little awkward, but that's okay. I am going to Put the paper at the bottom and then I will cut off these bottom of the fences. Just like that. And now I'm going to come along here. Wait a minute. Wrong, 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 wrong. I glued the wrong thing. Wait a minute. No, I didn't. It was right. I screwed up. That's what I did. This was, well, no, I guess that, no, I guess it's right. I was thinking of hiding that like I did that, but you can't hide that. Sorry about that. I'm Putting that there, and then I'm going to mark with my finger that I can't go past that. And I'm putting it down and I shouldn't. I should not be putting this down, but I have it down already. So what I'm what I should have done is put the flowers on this. I am screwing up left, right, and center today, and I'm sorry about that. I have glue all over my fingers. So maybe I can lift this up and save that part, make it a little bit easier for myself. So I'm going to I might try to get that up. It certainly would be easier. I am just, I did flowers in fresh freesia. Oh, that one still has 
the dye attached to it. <laughs> oh my word. I am going to the head of the class today. There we go. Okay. And to cut down on the amount that you put behind, you can cut like this. And I've glued it behind there so it will stay. And Hold on. I will get that off of there. There we go. So much easier. coming in with and it doesn't matter what you put down where you put down where you put it down just do what you want <sighs> sticky sticky fingers if I can get this off and make it easier so it doesn't look so difficult to you because this is not difficult I'm just making it look difficult oh crazy I'm just struggling a little bit with my back today and trying to get this done and not do anything to my back and uh, yeah so I need to slow down and think instead of just plowing ahead when my back is sore I'm losing these. I was positive I had more. Yeah, it was tapped the glue bottle. Now I can always cut more of these if I need them.
So how's everybody doing today? I have done two loads of laundry. <laughs> so that just keeps me busy today. And I carried it down myself and it's like maybe I shouldn't have done that. My I am struggling with sleeping on my back and I woke up and I was on my back and I shouldn't have been. <laughs> I usually don't and I don't know why. My hip must have been hurting me or something. And it just decided that it needed a break. One never knows. Okay, let's do this. I'm told the weather is absolutely glorious outside. My granddaughter came home from school sans coat. And I'm like, where's your coat? Didn't need it. It was beautiful out there today. And I'm like, really? <laughs> yeah, but you should have taken one with you just in case. I'm surprised the teachers are not having a conniption. Like, teachers don't like you not wearing your coat at school. I never, I made my kids wear a coat to school. They always had to take some kind of coat to school. Oh, I just didn't want them ending up uh, cold because they didn't have a coat with them. You can always not wear it, but if you need it, you've got it to put on. But I think my grandkids are different than my own kids because my own kids were, well, except for Danielle, they were always cold. And they, so they wore, gladly wore coats to keep warm because they loved playing outside. And if you wanted to play outside, you needed a coat to wear. Okay, now let's go with this one and this one. So do any of you have this paper, this meandering meadow paper? It, uh, it is very beautiful. I've, we've had two beautiful papers this meandering metal for it's an online exclusive and the celebration of flight and airy <gasps> oh my most favorite celebration DSP ever I think course I can't remember what we had last year so maybe that's because I can't remember but it is stunning paper stunning I just wish I could still use it because uh, it is no longer available for purchase Well, it, it was a freebie. You can't purchase it. But you could purchase other stuff and get it for free. 
which was even better. <laughs> I love free stuff. So have you got all your in, co in color that's going out this year? If you want the papers or uh, ink pads, re-inkers, get it now. Um, it will be going out real soon and then you won't be able to purchase it. So if you want it, purchase it now before it gets sold all out and you cannot get it. I've been wondering what we were what we're going to get with the new colors. It's exciting to get new colors, but it's also you got to put more money out. <laughs> uh Crazy Dilemma. The discontinued list will be coming out pretty soon. Okay, so do I need any more? Yeah, maybe I'll use this one. and put it in there. Now I'm just going to use these and pop it in for color. Well, that's not going in. There we go. There's one. Yeah. Just looking at it just to see if there's any... Um, color that needs to be interspersed. I don't know. I think I'll do it behind because it's a little bit longer. Get this one in. There. I think I have used up most of my everything. So now we will try to do this again and make it work this time. And I'm just doing a little glob on the flowers too so that they attach and the leaves. I didn't say the leaves, did I? There we go. Now this goes to very edge, remember?
Yep, that's even. Yay. Okay. Is this going to roll up on me? For me. things hanging from me. Now we're going to do this one. of this and bring this up and right to the edge and to the edge down here can't get over there and I didn't go over oh I am doing good There we go. And I'm going to burnish this. There we go. So what do you think? Okay, now I am going to start stamping. There we go. That's the one I'm looking for. Now I'm going to try to get this up here and straight without getting my head in there. Yes. I did it. Yay. And this is right in here. And I'm trying to make sure it's straight, but one never knows. A little bit off, but not too bad. Turn that over because it's sticky. So now I'm going to, this is from On the Ocean. And I didn't want all five birds. I, the, or all eight birds, seven birds. I thought it was a bit much for the size of the area that I'm putting it on. So each area is a little different so what I did was I took my black marker and And I stamped that there. And then I came along and I cleaned this off. Let it dry for a second. 
and then I did those three. And I cleaned it off. And then I did all of these down here, keeping it an odd number. And remembering the placement of them so that I could Um, now I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to do this, these three, and they're going to go right in there. Isn't that a cool way of doing it? Because sometimes seven birds is just too much in one area. So I put the biggest birds here, and then I've done a combination of all the smaller, and the combination is not the same on any one of them. So it looks different. Just like that. Now we're gonna do the back. And put that aside, I'm gonna clean that off so I don't get anything on it because I am good at that. So good. So I'm going to show you how I did these. This one will be different than the one I just did. My sample one. Oops. Apparently I am not getting it right on. There we go. There. So now I am, since I am such an accident waiting to happen, I have to put things up. I'm just going to do a little bit of these. I'm not going to go heavy on the dark color. There we go. And then I just come around and do circles because it's just easier. You can do links, but sometimes when you're around a round edge, it's just easier to do a circle. Then when you're straight edge, you can go straight. Does that make sense? I can't talk and color at the same time. There we go. And that was Highland Heather and this is Granny Apple Green. There we go. Then I'm going to take this nice saying praying for his comfort to soften the sadness and bring you peace my daughter's father-in-law passed away so this is for his wife
they were part of our family get-togethers for birthdays for the boys and things like that. So they were part of the family. It was very different. They did not have uh, anything, no, nothing memorial service or anything. It, it was very different. People were calling and they were like, mom doesn't want to have anything. And the people were wanting to come and yeah, there was nothing to come to. So I think it was harder on the kids that way. But it is what it is and we all make our choices and we live by those choices. Isn't that beautiful? Now I will get my, yeah, maybe envelope. There it is on this side of me. Now all I'm doing is taking the granny apple green. And like I said, you could put this on the inside. You could do the same uh, design as this on the inside so you don't have to color. You could do the what you did what I did on the what is normally the inside but it's at the back of the card. You could do that here. So you have options. I always like to give options because sometimes you just don't have a lot of time. So that was Granny Apple Green and Garden Green. So what do you think of my card? Let me see. I've got to display this. I don't know how you can get the full picture. Maybe like that. I hope you can see that. And then this on the back. Oh, this is, yep, this is the one I just did. So what do you think of my card? I hope you like this. Please give me a like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel so that the it helps with the algorithm and more people uh, get to see my work. And I hope more people want to see it. Do you think so? If you do, can you please like, share, and comment? subscribe. Thanks so much for being here. I really, truly appreciate you spending the time with me. Thanks. Bye now.